Cinema Creep. Here at Cinema Creep, we talk about all things vile, disgusting, and downright terrifying in the world of horror cinema. And today's video is no exception because we are going to be talking about David Gordon Green's Halloween Ends. And I couldn't be any more stoked to check out this trailer that just dropped today. Now, I have thought that this film was going to be the GOAT of the series ever since I found out that this was going to be a trilogy. Um, I absolutely loved Halloween Begins. I was sort of lukewarm on Halloween Kills. Really didn't like a whole lot of things about that movie. There were some cool parts, don't get me wrong, but I sort of felt like it was just a filler, you know, and maybe that's just because it's the middle movie of the trilogy, but um, just didn't feel very strong to me. But this one, just from the teaser, just from the trailer, it seems like it is going to be the GOAT. That is if you exclude the 1978 Halloween and Halloween 2, which is actually my favorite Halloween movie of all time. Um, but I do feel like this will be one of the best movies in the entire franchise. Now, if you would like to see all of those Halloween movies in the entire franchise ranked, in my opinion, in the Cinema Creeps point of view, that will be uh, an upcoming video and uh, be on the lookout for it. So make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite Halloween film is. Hit the thumbs up if you like this content and subscribe so you can see future videos like all the Halloween movies ranked. So without further ado, let's get into this trailer and let's see what we think about it. Okay, I just have to say, before we go any further, this is like the POV 1978 film. You hear his breathing over the top of it. Absolutely love it. Such a callback. That shot right there. Let's go. So, I don't know if you guys know or not, but Jamie Lee Curtis is wearing an outfit very similar to what she was wearing in the original as Laurie Strode. She's wearing that like um, that blue blazer top looking kind of thing, that dress shirt with, I guess, black pants. Okay. So the way that this trailer is showing the different films put together so well. Come and get me, motherfucker. The fact that Blumhouse, Miramax let Jamie Lee Curtis used the word motherfucker in, in like a major blockbuster movie trailer. That's big. That's awesome. I absolutely love that they kept that in there. No! So of course I'll link to the trailer in the description so you can see it uninterrupted. It's hard for me to watch it through and not pause it and not speak over it because I'm so stoked on it. But David Gordon Green and the crew have really created such an atmosphere in Haddonfield that makes it super reminiscent of the 1978 film. It doesn't feel watered down. It doesn't feel fake. It just absolutely makes you feel like it's just it almost feels like a continuation of those movies instead of just like a, um, I don't know, instead of like a reboot of those movies, I guess, so to speak, right? Um, because everything just feels so good about the atmosphere of these movies. You can tell that it was made by like true fans. And I hate to, to we just made a video over the guy, but I hate to talk about the Rob Zombie movies. Um, his Halloween films, but they, it just felt like it was an entire different universe. Didn't even feel like 
Michael Myers. It didn't even feel like Haddonfield to me. It just felt like something completely different. As to where these films, they just they feel so good. They feel so nostalgic and feel like your childhood. And I get so excited to watch them. Um, this will be one that I go see in theaters, whether or not it drops on Peacock or whatever streaming service that tries to pick it up. This will be something that I definitely go see in theaters. Um, and I'll probably pre-order tickets and, you know, go and hopefully see it in IMAX or something like that. See the best theatrical release that I can of it. So all I can say is I'm super stoked on this. And when this movie comes out, we will do a complete review and complete breakdown of it. But things that I saw in the trailer, right, that I really enjoyed was I really enjoyed that, you know, they had that uh, POV, POV view in the beginning. Um, and as Michael Myers is ascending up the stairs, it just reminds me of the 1978 film when young Michael Myers is going up there, you know, to kill his sister, right? Um, it looks exactly the same with the door cracked open a little bit. Really like that callback. I like the callback to like Laurie Strode's clothes. How she has, like I said, that light blue uh, dress top on, the button-up shirt. Um, so she's wearing similar clothes. And I wonder if that is something that she does intentionally in the film or if it's just something that they did uh, for the fans, right? Um, I also like the... Um, if you notice when she stabs Michael Meyer in his hand, you can clearly see that he's missing his two fingers to where he lost his fingers in the previous films. Um, I like that they kept, obviously, that continuity going. That would be a major flaw if they overlooked it, but I like how, you know, it's there. Um, and I also, I like the fact that, like I said, that they left in the motherfucker there that really makes the trailer just seem strong, like they're really just pushing the boundaries. Um, really, really excited about it. Like I said, we will be releasing a video with every Halloween movie ranked from best or our favorite to what we think is the worst in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let me know how stoked you are on this trailer below. And... Um, I wonder if this is going to be the last film, um, or at least the last. I read that I read that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis said that this is going to be uh, what wraps her character as Laurie Strode. So what if she gets killed off? How would we feel about that? Would you rather Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode get killed off, or would you rather Michael Myers get killed off? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. This was an amazing trailer. I hope you guys are as stoked as I am for it. And um, yeah, that's about it for this one. Stay creepy, and I'll see you guys on the next one.